2020 was supposed to be a big year for DJI, with several new drones slated to launch. What happened was we got a second gen Mavic Air but not the expected third gen Mavic Pro. Then, the company launched an update of the Mavic Air 2, called the Air 2S, in the spring of 2021 but remained tight-lipped about its more professional range of prosumer drones. A new leak has illuminated some gray areas in the yet-to-be-released DJI Mavic 3 or possibly Mavic Pro 3 drone. There has been a buildup of expectations for the latest drone that may come from DJI on its design, looks, and features. Much was not known previously of the gadget, but we can say a few more things about the machine thanks to a new leak. The leak was credited to Brazilian sources and illustrated the next-generation DJI Mavic 3 drone, with several other specs. The drone could feature a new collision avoidance system that is meant to enhance its overall maneuverability. It will also have more powerful adaptive cameras and zoom systems. The front and rear sensors have been positioned to strengthen effectiveness, while the side sensors have been removed. The machine has 1 terabyte of memory, can be airborne for up to 40 minutes, and could come with a 6000 mAh battery. The drone's gimbal has an integrated automatic look, although we are unsure whether the acrylic protector will be retained. Importantly too, a new intelligent controller will come with the drone to enhance its operations. It is believed that the gimbal will feature a new automatic locking mechanism that is activated when the drone is turned off, which is a clear departure from the current scenario requiring a manual adjustment. The illustrations released also show a very sleek machine that could be significantly different from its predecessor, the DJI Mavic 2, released back in 2018. There could be at least two versions of the new drone, possibly a base version of the DJI Mavic 3 and a higher version, the Mavic 3 Pro. Optical Image Stabilization Patent or New FPV Drone DJI has patented this optical stabilization system you see in the image. It could be that they want to add another layer of stabilization to the 3-axis gimbal, which could make long exposure shots very stable and improve the overall stability of any image. However, it could also be that they are working on a cheaper drone, maybe a continuation to the DJI Tello, a Tello 2, that can be a more affordable replacement for the DJI Spark. DJI Mavic 3 Patent, New Way to Fold a Drone? This official patent from DJI is called Deformable Frame of Aerial Vehicle and describes a new and more straightforward way to fold an Inspire-like frame, but smaller and more compact. This could be a complete overhaul of the Mavic Pro series that gets all the advantages of a 360 modular camera like the one on the Inspire. Here's what DJI mentions in the patent files. In the unfolded state, the second ends of the deformable rods and the two arm assemblies are away from the center frame. In the folded state, the deformable rods and the two arm assemblies are stacked above the center frame. The aerial vehicle further includes a loading mounted on the center frame. Camera upgrades from the Mavic 2 Pro. We expect to see a giant camera with a micro four thirds sensor, almost double the size of a one inch sensor and will support interchangeable lenses. Suppose they decide to add the ability to have interchangeable cameras in the new Mavic 3. In that case, it will undoubtedly revolutionize everything we have currently on the market since we won't be forced to choose, like with the Mavic 2 series between a Zoom and a Pro version. Considering Autel has released their Evo 2 series that can shoot in 6K and 8K resolution, DJI needs to step up their game on the resolution battle in modular cameras. This is why I'm expecting at least a 4K 60fps camera like the Mavic Air 2, but quite probable to have at least one version to record in 6K resolution. Controller Upgrades the controller is said to be similar to the Mavic Air 2 but with a built-in screen included. This could be a wrong decision for the buyers of the smart controller, so I'm not sure they will make this move. Still, it could potentially come in different packages, one with a primary controller and the other with the intelligent controller included. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked the video, you must press the like and subscribe button. And let us know your valuable feedback by commenting below the video.